Okay, this morning we're working a very, what's normally a very prolific fish. We almost lost, oh, Susie, come here. This is one of our jumping spiders, locally called cotton spider. That's a female. You see, she's threatening my finger. Okay, let me put her where she can be safe. Uh, Stormy was showing me a leopard frog a while ago, but I don't know if it's still here. Yeah, it looks like it moved on. Okay, we'll go back to the fish. Uh, this Nimbochromus venustus, normally very, very prolific fish. Uh, we had we saved some small fish after the winter storm, set up 11 of them uh, in the breeding colony. They're really too young to sex, but they were the biggest, 11 biggest we had. Uh, I was pretty sure one was a male. I thought the other were uh, females, but the, this is what came out of the vat. Like I said, they were small at the time. They've gotten a lot bigger. And this was the, the fish I thought was a male. This one was a female that uh, I thought was a female, turned out to be a male. Once, a, once they re start reaching sexual maturity, these fish grow really fast and get big. They will get larger than this. Uh, Let's see, see if I can get them back along the grid over here. You can see that's a that's a one inch grid on the back. That's a big fish. Okay, let's put these guys up. These are our two breeder males. And we had nine breeder females, which went back in. Here are two of them. And here are two. I added thirteen little ones I thought were going to be females. They're hard to sex at this age, so some, some of those 13 will probably be males, but see rounded fins. The females have quite a bit of yellow in the fins, uh, some yellow in the body. They don't get blue like the males, so we'll see how good I am in selecting those 13. Now we've got, see how many BRUs do we have, Susie? We have 70. We have 70 BRUs. BRU stands for breeders unsexed. Uh, they're potential breeders, and from that 70, we should be able to get 30 or 40 females next breeding cycle and bring this breeding colony up to full strength. Uh, usually in a 300-gallon breeding vat, cichlid breeding vat, uh, uh, with mouth breeders, maternal mouth breeders, I do oh, three, usually around three males, two or three males, and uh, 40 to 50 females. Now we got out of these nine females, we got 95 youngsters. Uh, that's in a breeding cycle, we would expect to get more closer to about 20 per female. Uh, a typical breeding uh, cycle is three to four months. If we go any longer than four months, the bigger fish uh, uh, start eating their newborn, their newly uh, released brethren. So we harvest at three to four months, depending upon time of the year, weather temperature, uh, you know, water temperature and uh, our workload. Right now we're running a little bit behind, so we're losing some production. But uh, getting ten, about 10 fish per uh, female, Using these are very young females, uh, they probably didn't breed right away, uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, we'd rather get around 20. We'd rather have well, and a four with 40 or 50 females, we aim for getting four to 600 fish. That's less than 20 per female per breeding cycle. But in our system, because we don't strip eggs. Uh, that would be impossible to do. Come here, Rosa. What are you looking for? Come here. We don't strip eggs. We let the females carry, which takes about three to four weeks, depending on time of the year. And they don't eat well during that time. So they need a little bit of time to recover, probably another two to three months. So uh, we probably get less than one batch of fry per female in a breeding cycle. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out, because we don't strip eggs, uh, our s system selects for females that hold, because if 
to when we net them out and throw them in these five gallon buckets to, uh, to sort out any female that spits uh, early uh, loses a breeding cycle and the, those females that will hold leave more, gene, more offspring in the, uh, in the pool and when I replace females I'm, it's more likely I'm selecting for females that I'm getting females that will hold. So after a few generations in our system females don't spit. Uh, if they do they end up getting, leaving fewer genes in the population. Okay, uh, this fish, uh, we should get this up to full breeding uh, uh, level uh, in about three to four months. Probably about, we'll probably aim for about three months because we're going into the warm summer months now. This is uh, latter half of April. Okay, good fish keeping.